हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज़ डॉक्टर परिधि योर डेंटल मेट शेयरिंग विद यू माय सिंप्लीफाइड वर्जन्स ऑफ डेंटल लर्निंग टुडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वेरियस लॉज ऑफ पल्प चेंबर एनाटमी हाउ टू लोकेट द पल्प चेंबर बेसिकली सो देर आर नाइन लॉज गिवन बाय क्रासनर एंड रैनकॉ they have told or they have determined by studying 500 different pulp chambers that the cemento enamel junction which is the cj it is the most important anatomic landmark for determining the location of pulp chamber and the root canal orifice okay so nine laws they have given and the, these laws they help us to determine the number and the location of orifice on the pulp chamber floor पल्प चेंबर का जो फ्लोर है फ्लोर ऑफ द पल्प चेंबर सो देर आर नाइन डिफरेंट लॉज फॉर दिस व्हिच इज लॉ ऑफ सेंट्रलिटी लॉ ऑफ कंसेंट्रिसिटी लॉ ऑफ सी जे थ्री सी ओके कंसेंट्रिसिटी सेंट्रलिटी कंसेंट्रिसिटी एंड सी जे आफ्टर दैट इज लॉ ऑफ सिमेट्री वन एंड लॉ ऑफ सिमेट्री टू द लॉ ऑफ कलर चेंज एंड थ्री लॉज फॉर द ऑरिफाइज लोकेशन सो फर्स्ट विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट law of centrality so this law it is basically useful to locate the floor of pulp chamber okay law of centrality it helps us to locate the floor of the pulp chamber now what is this what is the uh, what does this law state suppose if this is the tooth this is the cemento enamel junction and this is the root of the tooth so according to this law what is it that the floor of the pulp chamber it is always located in the center of the tooth at the level of the cemento enamel junction so ye jo floor hai pulp chamber ka wo hamesha yahan cemento enamel junction ke level pe tooth ke center pe rahega at the center of the tooth in the level of cemento enamel junction now this law of centrality it also tells how you need to penetrate the bud okay so always what is its significance like isse hame kya pata chalega ek to floor of the pulp chamber which is always present at the level of cj okay so whenever we are doing an access opening what we need to take in mind what we need to consider in mind that the initial penetrating bur what jo jo hamari first bur hogi initial penetrating bur that should always be directed towards the center of cemento enamel junction whatever is the center of the cemento enamel junction towards that the bur should be directed not in the center of the crown but at the center of the cemento enamel junction we need to direct the bur so this is the law of centrality so the next law is the law of concentricity concentric means har jagah se ek direction mein okay law of concentricity is basically um, formed to locate the walls of the pulp chamber so the sen law of centrality was to locate the floor of the pulp chamber this is to locate the walls of the pulp chamber now what is this law see what has been considered as the landmark cemento enamel junction to sare hamare jo bhi laws honge wo usko consideration mein rakh ke diye jayenge so according to this law what is what is said that the walls of the pulp chamber they are concentric to the external surface of the tooth at the level of cj means suppose see ye crown ka agar hum cross section dekhe to this would appear something like this in the occlusal surface occlusally agar apan dekhenge तो वो ऐसा दिखेगा ओके इफ वी आर सेक्शनिंग इट फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट बट इफ वी सेक्शन इट एट द लेवल ऑफ सी जे देन वॉट वुड हैपन 
इट वुड हैव अ डिफरेंट अनाटमी वाई बिकॉज एन एडिशनल रूट वुड भी देर तो वो रूट सर्फिस की अनाटमी को फॉलो करेगा इफ सपोज इट इज समथिंग लाइक दिस सो वॉट इज सेट दैट द वॉल्स ऑफ द पल्प चेंबर लाइक दीज आर द वॉल्स ऑफ द पल्प चेंबर दे आर कंसेंट्रिक टू द एक्सटर्नल सर्फिस ऑफ द टूथ एट सी जे ओके नॉट हेयर हेयर द वॉल्स कैन बी समथिंग एल्स नॉट टू द क्राउन बट टू द रूट सर्फिस ऑफ द टूथ टू द सर्फिस ऑफ द टूथ एट द लेवल ऑफ सी जे ओके कंसेंट्रिक मीन्स इफ दिस इज अ सर्कल वी आर ड्रॉइंग एन अदर सर्कल यहाँ से इक्वी डिस्टेंट दिस इज कंसेंट्रिक मीन्स दिस इज वॉट कंसेंट्रिक मीन्स एंड द एक्सटर्नल रूट सर्फिस एनाटमी जो रूट सर्फिस की एक्सटर्नल एनाटमी होगी वो रिफ्लेक्ट करेगी पल्प चेंबर की एनाटमी को रिमेंबर दैट ओके सो दिस वुड रिफ्लेक्ट एक्सटर्नल रूट सर्फिस एनाटमी नॉट द क्राउन रूट सर्फिस एनाटमी नाउ वॉट कैन यू लाइक अंडरस्टैंड विद दिस लॉ Suppose if there is any bulge in the root, if there is any bulge in the root, then what would happen? That bulge would seen would be seen in the anatomy of the pulp chamber also. And if there is any constriction, suppose if there is a mesiodistal constriction, then the chamber would also be narrow mesiodistally. This is the significance law of concentricity, and the law of centrality we have covered. Okay. Next, if we talk about the law of cemento enamel junction, according to the law of cemento enamel junction, what is said 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 is the distance from the external surface of the cranial crown to the wall of the pulp chamber. Okay, so this distance from if we talk about the external surface of the cranial crown to the wall of the pulp chamber, this distance is same. Okay. at the level of cj the distance from external surface of crown to the wall of pulp chamber is same okay this is what is the external surface of the clinical crown to the wall of the pulp chamber is same throughout the circumference of the tooth at the level of the cj now see this this uh, particular law this makes the cemento enamel junction the most consistent landmark for locating the position of the pulp chamber next if we talk about the first law of symmetry so what does the first law of symmetry says according to the first law of symmetry except for maxillary molars okay this is remember the first law of symmetry it is not applicable for maxillary molars so what does this law say that except for the maxillary molars the orifices of the canals are equidistant these orifices if we see the occlusal view these orifices of the canal they are equidistant from a line which is drawn in the mesiodistal direction through the pulp chamber okay so see this is the mesial part of the tooth this is distal so if we draw a line in the mesiodistal direction then this orifice and this orifice they would be at equidistant from this line drawn okay for suppose if this distance is 3 mm then this distance from this central line would also be 3 mm so these orifices they are at equidistant from the line drawn in the mesiodistal direction across the center of the floor of pulp chamber okay so they are equidistant ab line kaise draw kar rahe mesiodistal direction across center of floor of 
pulp chamber okay now if we talk about the second law of symmetry according to this law what is it saying this law is also not applicable for maxillary molars except for maxillary molars ye jo orifices hain these orifices they are located in a perpendicular line which is drawn to the line drawn in the mesodistal direction means ye jo mesodistal line humne draw kiya tha across the center of the floor of the pulp chamber if we draw a perpendic a line perpendicular to this line suppose this this line is perpendicular to this mesodistal line so these orifices would be in a straight line direction means agar ye ek orifice hame yahan mil gaya to iske perpendicularly if we will go then we will find the next orifice okay so these are these orifices are located in a straight line this line perpendicular is perpendicular to this mesodistal line okay so the orifices this is for what this is for orifice location so they are located perpendicular to line drawn to the mesodistal line okay they are perpendicular they lie in a perpendicular line which are drawn which is drawn perpendicular to the mesodistal line we have already drawn okay so one example of the law of symmetry is what see i have told you already that in the mandibular molars sometimes in the mesial root mostly actually in the mesial root two canals are seen okay so what happens is suppose what we have seen according to the law of symmetry that uh, if this is the occlusal anatomy this is mesial and this is the distal side okay so the distal and the mesial orifices they would be lying in the they would be at equi they would be lying in the straight line which is drawn and they would be perpendicular these orifices would be perpendicular to each other okay this we have seen that these two orifices they would be perpendicular to each other now if suppose we get a mesial orifice somewhat buccally and a distal orifice so what would be seen what can be seen is even if we like a uh, accentuate our burr in the lingual side and the lingual canal is not seen then we might get confused that the lingual orifice is not present mesial lingual orifice is actually not present but that would be false according to the law of symmetry why because according to this law what is seen what is said is first of all the orifices they are equidistant they are located equidistant to a line which is drawn in the mesodistal direction in the center of the pulp chamber so if there is one orifice at this then there has to be another orifice equidistant to this one okay secondly what we have seen that if we are drawing a line perpendicular to this line okay is line se agar ek perpendicular line hum draw karenge so the orifices they are seen in a straight line okay the orifices they lie on a perpendicular line drawn in the meso line drawn to a line of this meso distal direction so ye straight line mein aana chahiye uske according there has to be a lingual orifice meso lingual orifice also present so this is important in clinical practice next if we talk about the law of color change then according to the law of color change the floor of the pulp chamber is always darker than the wall of the pulp chamber so according to the first law of orifice location always the orifice is present at the junction of one floor plus two walls okay and uh, how is it seen for example if this is the pulp chamber okay this is the pulp chamber of a mandibular molar then ye jo hai ye this is the floor this is what this is let's let us suppose this is the lingual wall and this is the this case okay this is the lingual wall and this is the distal wall so the orifice would be located here at the junction of the lingual wall 
द डिस्टल वॉल एंड द फ्लोर मीन्स ये जो लिंगवल वॉल डिस्टल वॉल और फ्लोर का जंक्शन है यहाँ पे ऑरिफाइज लोकेटेड होगा एक्सेप्ट इन सम केसेस लाइक एम बी टू जिस जिन केसेस में एम बी टू मिलता है द एम बी टू केनाल इट इज़ लोकेटेड इन द जंक्शन ऑफ वन वॉल एंड वन फ्लोर बट मोस्टली ऑल द ऑरिफाइज दे आर लोकेटेड एट द जंक्शन ऑफ वन फ्लोर एंड टू वॉल्स सो दिस इज द फ्लोर वॉल्स टू वॉल्स सो एट दिस जंक्शन दे वुड बी अ ऑरिफाइज सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ ऑरिफाइज लोकेशन नेक्स्ट इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ ऑरिफाइस लोकेशन द सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ द ऑरिफाइस लोकेशन से इज दैट द ऑरिफाइस ऑफ द रूट केनाल्स आर लोकेटेड एट एंगल्स इन द फ्लोर वॉल जंक्शन वी हैव सीन दैट दे आर लोकेटेड एट फ्लोर वॉल जंक्शन अब फ्लोर वॉल जंक्शन पे वो एंगल्स पे लोकेटेड होते हैं हाउ फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव लोकेटेड वन ऑरिफाइस हेयर वन हेयर एंड वन हेयर वन हेयर फोर ऑरिफाइस वी हैव लोकेटेड सो इफ वी नीड टू डू द प्रिपरेशन एंड ये हमारा मान लो फाइल है so we cannot enter the orifice like this straight straight we cannot enter to the orifice if we want to enter which orifice is this this is the distolingual orifice if we want to enter to the distolingual orifice we need to approach from the mesiobuccal direction mesiobuccal direction se hum distolingual orifice mein ja sakte hain like from the opposite direction if we need if we want to enter to the let's suppose this one if we want to enter to the mesio distal orifice we need to enter through the distal mesial direction if we want to enter to the sorry this one is the distal buccal orifice if we want to enter to the distal buccal orifice we need to enter from this direction like this so why because the orifices are always located at angles to the floor wall junction next if we talk about the third uh, law of orifice location then according to this what happens is the all the root canals they are located at the terminals or ends of root developmental fusion lines so these fusion lines l i n e s root developmental fusion lines these fusion lines are actually nothing but they tell how the roots were fused how they were formed and fused to wo jo fusion lines hai unke jo terminus hai ends hai wahan pe mostly these orifices are located these are actually wo dentinal maps they are called as okay so this third law of orifice location it is usually used to detect the occasional canals like mb2 canal can be detected with the help of this law of orifice location so these are the various laws of orifice location law of centrality law of concentricity law of cemento enamel junction law of color change two laws of symmetry and three laws of orifice location so this is all for today now do not forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel do hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss the latest updates also let me know in the comment section below if you have any queries or if this video has helped you in any ways stay tuned keep visiting thank you